Clayton Yider uh, Scholars and Distinguished Visiting Lecture Program has just been a great opportunity for the students and faculty at the University of Nebraska to interact and exchange ideas with leading policymakers, economists, and lawyers in the international trade realm. Oh, we're looking at what's been happening to distortions to um, uh, world food markets over the past 50 years. Uh, look at how the WTO views its future problems. How wisely shaping our trade policies, both in our, our own country, as we're in a rich one, as well as in poor countries, you can actually make a difference for poverty. The intellectual property uh, involved in developing these products and patenting the technologies that go into them are extremely important to the manufacturers uh, and extremely contentious uh, on the world stage. Should we include agriculture in future, in future attempts to negotiate? Um, and what lessons should we learn from the process of the Doha Agenda? How much they discourage American exports has rarely been successfully calculated. My research tries to do that. We are in a, a world of uh, accelerating globalization. And what happens in China, what happens in India, what happens in Brazil is affecting our well-being. The greatest interest for the U.S. economy is to grow exports. You know, the most impressing thing is to get out there and negotiate agreements to open these foreign markets, to generate additional economic activity here and create jobs. Well, a lot of people are fearful of globalization because they have to uh, learn what's going on elsewhere in the world and adapt to what's happening elsewhere in the world. Uh, but that's not going to change. What I've learned is what professionals and experts are doing in the field and um, more about international issues and as the world is becoming more and more interconnected how important it is to um, think about things with an international perspective. It gives us a great chance to sit one-on-one -on -one with the, the speakers who are just incredible speakers and some of the brightest people in the world right now. It's a great opportunity for us to get exposed to real problems that the uh, developing countries are facing when it comes to agricultural negotiations. Through the program I've been able to see uh, some different aspects of agriculture and kind of a little bit of the larger ecosystem. Um, I think it's important for especially students in Nebraska to recognize the importance of becoming engaged internationally, understanding these international institutions and, and how to operate within them. Globalization is increasingly important and these countries can get so much more out of their resources if they work together. In today's global economy, uh, we need to understand how different ex well, decisions regarding exports, exchange trade affect the daily decisions. I think the biggest thing that I've gained is hearing a lot of kind of insider perspectives. And I think it's really important that you gain to exposure of what has happened since we've learned the textbook model and by having these speakers come who've actually had true experience they can attest to the environment and to the interaction they've had with other people. Uh, I'm very, I believe we all are very pleased and honored to have such a great speaker um, here on campus and have an opportunity to hear about his real life, real world experiences. Everything that we'll learn from the books, you know, we can definitely see how everything happens in the world. And great exposure uh, for the law students as well as the students from the business uh, department and the agricultural economics department uh, to see leading lawyers, policymakers, and economists in the international trade uh, and investment realm. It's, it really is a testament, I think, to the vision that the university has um, to set up something like the Clayton Yeider uh, uh, Distinguished Lecturer Program because it brings to Nebraska speakers um, who can then turn outward the, the view of students and uh, the orientation of students. This has been a fantastic forum. Uh, the Yider program and the Yider scholars who are participating, they're a group of very well-informed students and they're the types of people that we need uh, to occupy positions in government. If more people would realize how they're impacted, uh, they'd have a lot more interest in international trade. So I think a program like this really would allow someone to 
see a little bit behind the scenes of how much it does impact our daily lives. And I believe that this program at the University of Nebraska will help prepare this, the professionals, young professionals, who will be able to um, basically develop those programs and help people export things um, agricultural produce all over the world. We'll be doing a great favor to your fellow citizens if you combine the rigor and the persuasiveness and the integrity of Clayton Yoiter at his best and those scholars who labor on Washington policy questions with those same characteristics. We want people in Nebraska to be comfortable uh, with doing business elsewhere in the world and to relating to the people of the world uh, and be able to do that very successfully and profitably. Mm -hmm.